Do not let your mom see this. <laughs> I framed this one. Today we're going to be showing you 10 funny breakup notes. Oh yeah, I remember the breakup stuff. But these are written by kids. Awesome. Yes, kids are hilarious. Dating to them is like holding hands at lunch. <laughs> so that's kind of cute. It's like they're breaking up with their boyfriend, girlfriend. Okay, how cute is that going to be? Brooke, why do you not talk to me? We have relationship problems. <laughs> I don't want to dig a bores, but we might have to. I'm so sorry. Oh, that is cute, because that looks like a little kid wrote it. Divorce. D-I-B-O-R-S. I don't want to get a divorce. I think she's headed in the right direction. I think she's asking great questions. Paige, I, f I feel for you. Brock is, you know, he's working through some things, and I think if you give him some time, some space, he'll, he'll, he'll come back. I think it's great, it's like heartfelt, it's straight to the point. You know, and it's like, they gotta do something about this. It's urgent. Sean, I am breaking up with you. You have not talked to me since the day you asked me out. That's so sad. You need to get it together or you will never get married. <laughs> and that would be sad. You should get married, just not to me, Rachel. Wow, it's a message. You better listen, Sean. It's a message. That was three. <laughs> Three months ago, oh my God, Rachel, you nailed it. That is deep, yeah. Cause she actually gave him an advice, but at the same time, she's like, I'm quitting with you. She's kind of speaking some truth. Sean, it's been three months, bro. Like, get with it. Delandrin to Crystal, to Crystal. I'm breaking up with you. P.S. Happy anniversary though, one month. <laughs> it's really hard to do this. <laughs> Woke up with the, with the anniversary date. It's a good way to wake up with somebody on their anniversary. He's like, I'm so sorry, but P.S. Happy anniversary. That's like every relationship. That, that, that doesn't change. I'm breaking up with you. Happy anniversary, though. One month. It's really, like, there's layers. This, this, has, a, this has a layered note. It's really hard to do this. <sighs> I'm laughing at heartbreak. That's horrible. Dear Alexa, I am so sorry but I'm going in the other direction. <laughs> but I'm probably breaking up with you. I guess we can still be friends. I guess I still love to see you. And I am, but so, so sad that I am doing this. But just do not let your mom see this. <laughs> this is a sad thing, you know? They try to experience all the emotions, you know? When they probably feel relief. Maybe this person loved the mom more than the kid. I bet she made like the best cookies or something. Like, but don't tell your mom. Well, just, honey, just explain that you're going in another direction. You guys are going in opposite directions. That's great. He must have really liked her. That's cute. Ooh, that's some letter though. I'm sorry, we have to break up. You always try to make me laugh, but you're just make yourself look bad. We're over, for real from Stevie. That's it, man. That was pretty to the point. There's no love right there. Oh, that is so funny. They cross out the love, for real. He wrote it and then crossed it out like, I don't love you no more, so why would I put love? She's trying to be too funny, and it's like, you know what? That's hurting my feelings. So maybe they're not really good jokes, you know? Maybe they're a little too offensive for him. We're over for real. They broke up many times. It looks like those kids, oh my God, they have girlfriends, boyfriends that are very, Young age. Dear Ashley, would you please be my girlfriend? I like you a lot. Yes, no, maybe. Then he circled no. I'm sorry, I already have a boyfriend, Kyle. But when we break up, you're my next choice. <laughs> that will probably be in a month or two. Wow, oh my God. That's adorable. She's got choices. You don't have to wait in line. That will probably be a month or two. <laughs> you did the best thing. 
Ashley? What's, who's this? Oh my God, I, I want this kid. The fact that there's just no filter with these kids is amazing. You get their honest responses. It's like, you know what? It ain't gonna last. You're next in line. Thanks for everything. I can't see you anymore. Oh, with lipstick on the side. I'm not having fun. Please don't call me. Get it, girl. Bam, bam, boom. <laughs> Oh my God, that is rough. That is tough right there. Someone called 911. That right there is a breakup letter that I think people would send out a lot. I'm not having any fun anymore, bye. You know what's really painful? The lipstick on it. It's like, God, you know, it's like, okay, here's my lipstick, you know, just so you can remember me. I wanna know where she learned how to kiss the envelope. Like what show did this kid learn this from? Dear Janet, I think we should break up. I will tell you why but I am having a tough time describing my feelings. So I drew a picture of me riding a giraffe instead. Yeehaw, sorry. <laughs> Where are those kids? I want them, I want them. I want you guys, I want you, come here. Is that weird, riding a giraffe? Like, you guys don't do that? He's young, he can't describe his feelings, but he really wants to ride a giraffe, and those are his feelings. I'm so using that with my wife the next time we're in a fight. At least he's saying he's having a hard time describing his feelings, like, you know? Instead of like, uh, I don't know. I guess he wants to be free, that's what I see. The picture shows he just doesn't want to be bound to anything. Leave me alone, I want to be free. He framed this one. <laughs> So Tom, we should break up. I don't like you anymore. You're too in love with your friend. Maybe someday you'll be ready for an almost semi-serious relationship. But for now, I suggest you don't get another girlfriend. If you want another girlfriend, I heard Jenny Brothers wants you. <laughs> we'll see you around. <laughs> this person has a lot of personality deliver delivering those uh, breakup letters by framing it. With a suggestion. <laughs> That's a nice one. It came with a suggestion. Oh my God, gave him a scoop on another girl. This is amazing, man. Still trying to help the guy she's breaking up with. Dear mom, I just got dumped at the dance. Uh, turns out that she likes bad boys. Am I a bad boy? I hate girls. Oh, that's so sad. That's what happens, man. He's uh, he's learning lessons at a young age. These are the best things ever. And he wrote her on a postcard. Oh, he was at camp. That's so sad. But he's talking to his mama. He's opening up. That's good. I like his chances. I think he has a lot going for him. You know, he, he knows how to operate the United States Postal Service. It is funny, but it's not funny because, you know, girls at that age, they do like bad boys. So tell me what you think about these breakup notes. They're adorable. Reminds you of childhood, you know what I mean? Gosh, I have a couple stories myself. They were so sad that I had to hide my tears through laughter. <laughs> you know when my kid brings home stuff like this, I'm gonna be taking pictures of it and posting it online. This shows uh, how kids think, and it's cute, you know? They think that they're in love and, and that that's the best way to break up. <laughs> you can learn some stuff as adults from this, you know? Just get to the point, let them know what's up. You'd be like, I'm in or I'm out, you know? That's it. Thanks for watching this episode on the React channel. Have any cute breakup stories? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out. Be sure to subscribe. Goodbye.